Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Here's another video on the M5 that I recorded a while back. In fact, um, I just didn't get a chance to put everything together and edit and publish it. So here it goes. Basically, uh, this was one of the first things I did right after getting the car. It was the first thing I noticed that was wrong with it. And let me just take you here so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, and it is basically the aux fan you see uh, right here in front. I was actually sitting in traffic um, when I noticed uh, my temperature gauge here started to get really hot. And as you can imagine, my heart skipped a bit uh, when I saw this uh, getting towards the red zone here. and. You know, I really didn't know what was going on. Um, so I pulled over right away and let the car uh, cool down. And then I eventually made it home. Uh, what I did notice was that whenever the car was in movement, the temp gauge would start to, you know, drop back down to the, to the blue zone, um, which right away tells me that there is something wrong that's related to airflow because as you're moving the car of course and you know air is coming in through the uh, the grills here everything sort of cools down and as soon as you stop then um, you know you do need the assistance of mechanical or in this case electrical fans to keep temperatures uh, in check uh, this car does have a mechanical fan right here um, but uh, when there is extreme heat and here in Florida that's pretty much any given day, and you're sitting in stop and go traffic, uh, this may not be enough. So the computer, after the temperature gets to a certain degree, um, will kick this uh, aux fan um, to help out and you know avoid the, the engine from overheating. Uh, this fan also runs whenever you have the AC uh, running, which puts you know, additional stress uh, to the to the system and obviously requires its own its own cooling as well so as part of my troubleshooting the first thing i did was of course uh open up the hood and take a look and make sure that the uh, clutch frame here was was actually moving um, i turned on the ac and i noticed this fan wouldn't move uh, at all so right away there was an indication that there was something wrong with the aux fan and the next step was pretty much to make sure that there was power and this aux fan has a connector um, right there and you can unplug this from the the wiring that goes uh, obviously to the car and check for for power there so with a voltmeter um, you should be reading 12 volts uh, on this cable uh, pretty much all the time so I did that and found out that there was no power uh, to it and the next thing of course was to check the fuse and there's a fuse panel right here in the glove box and a nice legend you can pull out and check out um, which fuse is for what and of course when I looked at the auxiliary fan here um, number 75 I quickly realized that it was not here easily accessible now that fuse is actually under the glove box uh, down here you have to remove a cover and laying on my back and you can access pretty much everything here and the fuses are on the top of this little black box here I've already removed them um, I had to take some of these connectors out of the way um, the one that goes here so I could fit my hand and you know it takes a bit of a struggle and some patience but you can get them out fuse number 75 is a 50 amp um, and as you can see there's our guy clearly blown so that will definitely uh, keep the fan from from starting so I went and got a new fuse replaced it and checked here in the connector again 
and I did get the 12 volts right away so that was perfect and then I connected the fan uh, once again you know started the car I kicked on the the AC and I noticed the fan attempted to start it actually moved about an inch and stopped right away and of course as I suspected the new fuse was also blown it blew the fuse right away so that right there um, was you know very high probability of being a bad fan so I went ahead and ordered uh, a brand new one So that is what I have for you guys in this video. We're gonna be replacing the aux fan on this E39 M5. Uh, the process is the same for any E39 for that matter. So let's get right to it. So these first three bolts that we need to remove here from this liner, uh, you can access by just turning the wheels on each side. They're eight millimeter screws. And once you're done with those, there's gonna be another four right underneath the car um, you won't really see them unless you jack up the car but you can uh, get them by feel with a lung socket once you get them off you will need to turn the wheels again and then you can pull these uh, both you know right and left pieces just be careful there is a sensor here um, that you don't want to leave apart of course and this should give you access to the um, fog light connection as well, um, right here. So just reach in and, and disconnect that before you move further. All right, so we're ready to take some of the bolts that are holding the actual bumper onto the car off and pull this thing out. So I've laid down some carpeting here so I don't scratch uh, the bumper against the surface. Uh, those bolts are going to be a torque um, 50, so you do need to get a, a socket for this. I bought one at my auto parts store for like six bucks. And if you look underneath the bumper here where the grill is, you can see the, the bolts. There's one here and one right there. And there's one, it's a pretty long bolt. Oh, there's the other one. And there's our bumper off. You do want to be careful here when you're doing this because as you'll notice the uh, hoses for the light washers here are still connected so you want to you know, keep the bumper as close as you can to the car um, if possible. And you can see where this water hose attaches to this uh, main line here. There's a quick release clip. Just got to disconnect this and get it off. Now that we have the bumper completely off, uh, the next step will be to remove this I guess, plastic uh, shroud here. And there is clips in different places, uh, several bolts, uh, as you can see here and here. Some are behind the headlamps, so I'm gonna have to remove those as well. Um, you know, just look around for anywhere where this thing may be attached and remove uh, whatever is attaching it. <laughs> I don't think these are the clips that are supposed to go here. I did buy brand new clips or rivets uh, for this so I can get the, the right ones in place when I get it back on. And we're gonna have to remove the headlights or at least pull them 
um, aside as much as we can so that we can get to the some of the bolts that are holding the shroud so there's four hex bolts here two underneath and two on the top And I should be able to pull this headlight to the side now without having to unplug any of the electrical, but you know, still I'm gonna be careful. And this gives me just enough space to fit my socket in there and remove the, the bolt. Let's see if I can do that. Got it out. I just gotta do the same thing on this side. And there shouldn't be anything holding this thing at this point. So I think it's just a matter of pulling it out. Perfect. And there are four nuts here that we have to remove. These are 13 millimeters to get this fan off of the car. So this is a good time to clean this up a little bit um, it doesn't look that bad actually <laughs> and here's the uh, new aux fan that we're gonna be installing this is OEM Ber uh, Hella quality parts um, the one that I removed was JYA or I don't know it seemed generic uh, so this is probably better anyways and it feels different just by spinning uh, by hand already so just confirms that the other fan was definitely uh, bad Now before I go through the trouble of putting everything back together, I'm going to connect this fan and start the car and make sure everything works. Lovely. This is a variable speed fan, so it'll uh, adjust RPMs according to uh, car temperature and you know how the AC is running and everything. Uh, but this looks like we have successfully uh, fixed the issue. Turn the fan off now or the AC off and that fan should stop running.
Ooh, there we go. Perfect. So that is pretty much the process from start to finish for installing or replacing the aux fan on your E39. Um, really not that bad of a job and something you can do yourself with basic setup tools and some time. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please drop your comments below and I will see you all on the next one. Peace.